Blew My Mind is another movie that I've seen advertisements on uh, on Shutter, so I want to check it out. It's basically about a 15-year-old girl named Mia. She is uh, at a new school. She's trying to ingratiate herself in the cool crowd. There's these girls that are popular and noisy. She's trying to become friends with them. She starts, um, you know, giving into peer pressure, like you know, having sex prematurely or shoplifting. You know, wearing lots of makeup and doing weird games, drinking and and uh, drugs. However, there's something happening with her body. Mia is slowly turning into a mermaid. And that's it. That's the movie. No more review. No, okay, I'll keep going with the review. But that's basically the movie. The transformation of her turning into a mermaid doesn't really tie into anything else in the film. If you were to have a character get bitten by a vampire, you'd at least like explore the prey-predator theme of having more power or... Um, the primal nature of being a werewolf, you know, how it turns you from a man to a beast who can't control himself, you hurt people you love. You know, at least the basic monster transformation movie tries to tie in a little bit of theme. Blue My Mind doesn't have anything to do. She's turning into a mermaid, they don't explain why. She's a little bit of a lesbian. The, the film tried. The, this film actually would have been better without the mermaid sequences. It was more interesting to see her sort of um, not have much of a She's in that stage where she's trying to find herself, so she, she latches on to the worst possible crowd and watches how it affects her. And she's got these weird lesbian tendencies that she can't act upon because she's not sure if they'll treat her well or not. That, that stuff was actually more interesting than the mermaid stuff. The mermaid stuff is really repetitive and gruesome. She likes to eat fish. And there's no point to the whole turning into the mermaid thing. It just has no payoff. It's more of a mood setter. It doesn't have anything to do with the plot. So I didn't really like that. It just seemed kind of like dead in the water. Pardon the phrase. So A Blew My Mind has pretty good acting. The story isn't too bad. I was more interested in the coming of age elements than the transformation stuff. So I give Blew My Mind a 3 out of 10.